having done a little bit more FPV over the past couple of months I wanted to do another video to show you a little bit more about the iTelemetry FPV application from Immersion RC. Now Immersion RC do the easy OSD display um, and that's a little thing that goes on your craft and actually sends down via the right audio channel the GPS information, information about the speed, height, battery voltage, current, milliamp hours consumed and all those wonderful things. Um, the, the phone um, app and also there's apps for Android as well can actually record this data and let you do things with it after the fact and I thought it would be useful to actually show how you access that data and what you can do with it once you've got it down um, as it couldn't really find some good videos on YouTube that explained it. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to actually show you the application on the iPhone very quickly. There is another video where we go into this into more depth where it talks about connecting an easy OSD um, on-screen display to the iPhone and also to a PC in that one. I'll link to it here and I'll also link to it when we get to that section. Um, I'll talk about what you have to do to make sure that when you record it all works fine. Then show you how to access that from iTunes and download those log files so you can do something with them. Go through what those log files are and how you use them and then finally show you some cool stuff in Google Earth with the data that you've captured. So thanks for watching the video, bear with it. First of all we'll have a look at the app on the iPhone. So the first thing we'll have a look at is actually how you connect this thing up and uh, where you get the download for the application. Now there are apps for the PC and also for Android but I'll just talk about the iPhone one for this video. If you um, need to know more information then you can look on my other video which shows you how to connect this through in more detail but I thought it would be useful just to very quickly cover this off. So the application itself runs on the iPhone, you download it from um, iTunes, you can search for Immersion RC or Easy OSD and uh, you'll find it. Uh, you click on it, install it and when you open it, this is the screen it will go to. Let me take a screenshot so I can have it on the screen better for you. This is um, where you start the mission itself but before you do that you need to connect the phone to your equipment. Now this is actually oops, turn the right way around an Immersion RC Uno 5800 and it has like all Immersion RC and FPV equipment uh, usually they have RCA leads that come out the back and it gives you your two videos uh, sorry your two audios beg your pardon and your video lead as well so that's uh, yellow is normally your video and your audio is comes out on the red and the white the red is right and the white is normally left. Now there's a special cable that you need. Um, you can search on RC groups and it will actually tell you how to make one of these or you can buy it. Um, I, I bought this because it was just it's a little bit neater and I wasn't sure about how to put the cable together. You simply connect one end of it to the right hand channel of the audio on your ground station and you plug the other end into your iPhone. Now the next thing you do then is you wait until the Easy OSD has acquired the GPS lock. Now the, re the, the way you can do that is just watching your goggles or on your ground station and it will say acquiring satellites at the top and once it's got more than six satellites it'll flick into the normal screen and you'll see you know, the location, you'll see um, uh, the uh, distance to home be zero meters and other bits and bobs. Once it's done that then give your mission name something you'll uh, remember that's unique so we'll call this one test and then uh, when you're ready you click on start new mission and when you do that then it'll actually start recording the information now once the application is running as we've seen in the other video you can actually then look at the um, the, the map, you can see where the plane is, you can view the telemetry information as it comes down um, but what it's doing all the way through is it's recording this mission log and when you've finished your mission and you've landed the plane you click end mission and that completes and saves the files down to the iPhone so now the files are on the iPhone let's actually take this to my main home PC and I'll actually show you how to get those files off the iPhone via iTunes so you can do something with them.
So apologies for not actually using screen capture software, I don't have it on my main home PC um, but I think you'll be able to see what's going on here well enough. So we have iTunes open now, we have the iPhone connected on the left hand side and I've clicked into the apps tab, so across at the top you have summary, info, apps, tones, blah blah blah. I've clicked on the apps tab, now this is the one where you can actually see your home screens and the other bits and pieces. If you scroll down in the apps tab you'll see all of the um, apps where they've um, created documents that you can transfer. If you click on iTelemetry FPV then the file that you've created and this is why it's worthwhile calling it something that you'll remember they're all listed on the right hand side and you're looking for ones that, in, that end with the extensions CSV and also KML. So these are the two we're going to have a look at in a second. So what you do is you highlight them and then you can click to save to. Put them on the desktop. So there's the CSV. We'll save the other one on the desktop as well so we can find it. There we are. So those are the documents safe off the phone. And now these two files here we can actually do something with. So what I'll do is I'll copy them onto my smaller PC where I can use the screen capture software that's a bit clearer and we'll look at what these are and what we can do with them. So now we have the two files from the iPhone via iTunes. I've put them here on the desktop on my small machine where I can do the video capture. You have the first one which is a CSV file uh, which we'll look at in a second but first of all I'll show you the cool one which is the KML file. Now the KML file if you double click it will launch Google Earth if it's on the machine and you'll get a screen that looks like this. So it'll automatically create in the temporary places an iTelemetry FPV mission uh, element and it will jump to and show the flight in 3D on the map. Now it looks like a roller coaster and you can do some quite cool stuff in here. So if you actually right click on flight path you can click on something called show elevation profile and here's the, the information about the distance, the height, and all the other bits and bobs. So you can see exactly where the model was, how high it got, and how long the actual flight was. And you can also share the KML file with your friends and colleagues to show them where you've been flying. So that's Google Earth. The second one is that uh, you can also look at the data in a CSV format, that's the second file. CSV is just an open version of things like XML, so it's basically a spreadsheet. So if we have a quick look at that in Excel Starter, what you've got is for each of those data points, like in the KML file, you actually have all the information. So the latitude, the longitude, um, the amp, draw current, everything is in here. So you can actually look at all the data from the flight. So that's what those two files are and that's how you look at them. So now we've seen on the video we've gone through a couple of things. We've looked at the application itself, how you connect it, where you get it from, how you record the information during a flight, how you get that information off something like an iPhone and then how you use that information with things like Excel or with Google Earth. The last thing I'll show very quickly is the PC application that you get from Immersion RC. Now you can download it from the ImmersionRC.com website and it's called the Immersion Player. And here it is. And this is the PC version of the thing that's on the iPhone. So again, in the other video it shows how you connect this up. And you can again record and actually um, save the, the data through this application. Interestingly, if you go to load and if we navigate to the desktop where we had all of the uh, files it the files it's asking for are either video files or audio files so in this application you cannot use this although you can use it live to view the data as it comes from the model um, and so as, as we saw in the other video you can actually follow it like you can on the iPhone you cannot unless you have a recording of the audio that came down that right audio channel from the model you can't replay it in here if you do replay it in here then actually you can export that KML file 
again to do the stuff that we did before in Google Earth but this is more of a recording um, piece of software rather than something to let you play it back I hope the Immersion RC um, guys are very, very cool. I hope in future what they do is they add the ability to load in uh, that CSV file or even that KML file and be able to replay the information through this application like you can through Google Earth. So thank you very much for watching. Hope that's useful for those of you that use this kit and it'll save some of you some headaches. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and happy flying.